I need that blog to show a story. It allows me as well to say exactly what I felt about the wedding. And let's be honest, weddings are amazing. That's why I do it. Hi guys, it's Magdalena from Love That Smart Photography and welcome to another episode of this wedding photography Q&A video series. Today is all about websites. And I got a question in from Matt who was asking what information on my wedding photography website is really essential. And to answer your question, Matt, I got uh, an interview lined up with Jonathan Coates from JS Coates Wedding Photography. He's an award-winning wedding photographer based in the Midlands in the UK. But he's not only a wedding photographer, he's also a husband, a dad of two little boys, and he's a musician. He sings, he plays guitar, and he writes his own song for his little band. Um, I think they're an acoustic duo, but check his, uh, his website out. He's um, definitely worth a look. But he was really kind enough to stand in front of my camera and on the beautiful Isle of Skye um, and yeah, was answering that question for you, Matt. So with no further ado, here he is. Enjoy, and i see you afterwards. Hey, I'm Jonathan from JS Coates Wedding Photography. Um, I'm a wedding photographer that's based in the Midlands of the UK. And I'm going to tell you what I think is the most essential part of my website. For me, I love to build a relationship with my couples. Um, I want them to buy into me as a person rather than me as a faceless business. So my website has to reflect me. Um, the About Me page is where you start, really. That, that needs to be a personal insight into me as a person as well as me um, as JS Coates wedding photography so you know I mentioned the fact that I'm married I mentioned the fact that I've got two lovely children um, what are the things I love outside of wedding photography because I want my couples to identify with me so yeah the about me page has to be just just has to reflect that really um, I have links off into personal pictures of you know, family Christmases, holidays, and, and everything like that. So yeah, people get to know me, and that's the whole point, it's an About Me page. An extension of the About Me page is I've recently just got a promo video done, which, um, it looks epic, it looks really cool, but it reflects me again, and it kind of elaborates on what I've got on my, um, uh, my About Me page. So, you know, I talk a little bit more about what photography means to me, but again, you know, I've got my children in the video, I've got my wife in the video, and I really think after watching that, after reading my About Me page, couples can make an informed decision of whether or not they think I'm the right person for them, because hopefully they already like my images, because they've gone onto my About Me page and they want to know a little bit more. So one absolute obvious part of a website is your portfolio. Um, you know, for me, I'm putting images forward that I want to that I want to show to people and I want them to book me because of those images. Um, it would be a lie for a wedding photographer to say that they don't have to shoot certain images, certain group shots, things like that, that they may not enjoy doing at a wedding, but you do it because your couples want you to do it. Um, but you don't have to show those on your website. So your portfolio needs to be images that you love and you want to take and couples want to book you because of those images. So the blog for me is, is pretty huge. That, that's where I get to, to show the stories. I build myself as a storytelling wedding photographer. And, you know, each blog post shows a wedding from start to finish. Um, every aspect of the day, all the cool bits. Again, you know, it's all the bits that I want to show, but I need that blog to show a story. It allows me as well to say exactly what I felt about the wedding. And let's be honest, weddings are amazing. That's why I do it. So I get to say all that, I get to show all the best images and I make sure that the blog is updated all the time and that way when couples come on they get to see that you're a working photographer, you're doing it all the time throughout all the seasons, throughout anything that's thrown at you. And I think that's massive, that's really important and that allows them to trust that you can handle their day. The fifth point, and this is a bit of a controversial one and it's a conversation that photographers have all the time, it's my choice to not show prices on my website. Um, yeah, some, some photographers do, some photographers don't. We're always debating whether, what the right, right way is. But for me, I want couples to contact me. Obviously, I know at that point that they're interested. But then I get to send them out a brochure which has different images on and it gives me a second chance to impress them. 
Uh, and then maybe if they're on the fence a little bit, hopefully that brochure is what's going to tip them onto my side. It gets, it's more personal style in there, more images. And yeah, it just gives them everything they need to know on how to proceed with me from the start to me shooting their wedding. So the final point, um, and I think this is probably the biggest one to, to kind of stop any problems further down the line as well, is to clearly define what style of a photographer that you are and the way that you approach a wedding on the website. Um, I've heard horror stories of photographers that have um, not really defined the way that they are. And then on a wedding day, they've turned up to shoot their specific way. Couples get the images and it's completely not what the couple were expecting. So from your images to the text, um, anything that is on your website needs to represent what style of photographer you are and what style of images the couple can expect to get. Massive thank you to Love That Smile Photography and Magdalena. She's a legend and I think she's doing some amazing things, getting other photographers to answer questions that when I was starting out, I would have absolutely have loved to know. So thank you very much. Thank you so much, Jonathan, for this brilliant interview with you. Um, I really enjoyed um, having you in front of my camera and I hope Matt, he answered all your questions regarding um, a wedding photography website. Everybody that does it slightly different. I think Jonathan covered some of the main, mo or all of the most important bits and then whether you, you know, show prices or not show prices or what to include in portfolio, it really comes down to you, what your preference is. Everybody does it differently or slightly different. And, you know, just find out trial and error, whatever works for you. I mean, initially when I started out, I had all my prices on there and then I obviously took them all down and just have a starting price of the base package so that the couple gets an idea. But some people um, obviously choose not to show any prices. And I really get and understand also the reasoning for that. So I think it's really down to you what you want to do and what you want to achieve with your website. But definitely test it out and see where it goes. So I hope this was really helpful to you, Matt, and anybody else out there who had struggles or questions about wedding photography uh, websites. So I just hope they got answered. <laughs> If you have any other questions or issues or struggles or anything that you're, you know, confronted and challenged by right right now, please hit me up. Um, I would love to hear from you. There is a link again somewhere around this video. Or if you're watching this on the blog, then there is um, a contact field down below where you can submit your question, and I can get other people to other wedding photographers lined up, uh, wedding photographers lined up to answer your question, or maybe I will answer your question. Whatever it is, but we'll, it will definitely be answered, and I can make a video out of it so that other people with the same question get the same help. So thank you so much for watching again. And if you really love this video, spread the love and share and comment and subscribe. I would love for it to take off and, um, you know, help other photographers out there. Anyways, I will wish you a lovely day and I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>